Hey Dumblies, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Jungkook and his apparent new hair. Like yes, he has new hair. And it was bleached, so we have to take a moment to fangirl about this. But for some reason, then Blackpink was kind of dragged into this as well. We'll talk about it, it's a whole thing. Taeyang or V Daddy was also talking about his little baby child on TV. And this was a super funny one. So we'll definitely get into that at the end. I love sharing these cute moments that we find on TV. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified I some new video drops. And if you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Now the first thing I want to get into is of course Jungkook and his hair. He'd be like new her, don't cur. So there's actually a lot to unwrap here. Now BTS recently was just at an award show. As BTS normally does, they go to award shows and totally win all of the awards. But one thing that caught the attention of armies immediately was the fact that Jungkook had walked on stage and completely took the spotlight. Jungkook had blonde hair. He was blonde. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Now, now Jungkook has mentioned many times that he prefers to grow his hair out just so that he has different styles and he can do different looks. He talks about how he feels guilty that he can't do a bunch of different colors because his hair isn't as healthy. So I thought that this means like forever he's not going to bleach his hair. But what likely he meant is that he just wouldn't do it very often because we have a bleached moment here today. We have a clip of them accepting an award for 30 seconds or so and it immediately became a trending topic on Twitter. With over half a million people trending this and likely more as of right now, people on L tweets there were dying, literally saying this. Y'all realize 23-year-old Jungkook's first Selka can happen tomorrow and it'll be blonde Jungkook. Oh my god, imagine. I cannot imagine. We're gonna have a moment, the internet will die. I don't even know how to react. Like no one will live after they see this. We must not let him do it, but I kind of want him to do it. I like the pain when it's Jungkook. As BTS says on On, bring on the pain. Now while this was super fun to wake up to, literally another trend was trending in the US, right below this one, which I didn't understand what happened at first, but I looked deep into it and I figured it out. So the trend is called Let Army See Blackpink. And it's weird because at least from my experience, a lot of armies don't really care about seeing another group. I never saw a hashtag with armies and Blackpink together without it being kind of a drama thing. And initially it kind of looked like a nice hashtag, like armies supporting Blackpink, but it turned out to not be so much of that. So I guess Blackpink maybe wasn't able to attend the award show or something like that. And they kind of just left it at that. They weren't going to go. And like they didn't send a thank you video or anything to replace them not going. Now this is what the Blinks were mad about. They were kind of upset to not receive a video from Blackpink. But now there were tweets under this hashtag from armies, and they were really coming for Blackpink. The profile pictures were of Jungkook, other members of BTS. I doubt they were real armies to be honest, but just fake ones because armies had a lot to talk about today that was not about Blackpink. There's a lot going on right now with BTS. But keep in mind, Blackpink not sending a video could definitely not be their choice. Like Blackpink could literally go and record a video, but if the label or whatever says, nah, we're not gonna air that video, then it never gets aired. And honestly, you wouldn't even know what happens behind the scenes. And if YG or Blackpink even attempted to make a video. And of course, it's not the fault of the girls themselves. This is how you know these people are just trolls because they don't make any sense. People making it seem like armies are protesting to see Blackpink. Of course there are blink armies who want to see Blackpink, but the majority of armies had blonde Jungkook to focus on today. Most of them were talking about that. So it was very weird to see this hashtag kind of going on. Now something I found out that was even more not as great is that within the hashtag now, you have people attacking Blackpink, saying mean things about them, just because some trolls decide to bring Blackpink's name into this. One person said, Blinks being dramatic over a troll account. I can't with y'all. I'd rather be blind than to see black pink. Ha ha ha. Anyways, I'm still hyping on Blonde Jungkook. And I get it, people are angry. But I don't know if I would go as far as to say, I would rather be blind than to see Blackpink. Come on. They're a good group and they're doing a great job at doing their great group thing. They've also worked super hard just like any other artist. And they personally did not insult Blackpink or ARMYs. So don't hate on them. Just hate on the trolls that are causing issues. Like imagine if some crazy person is like, I like John, Oliver sucks. Then everyone comes on and says, I actually hate John and Oliver's better. Imagine how John feels when he now comes online to see a bunch of people attacking him for no reason. And John never had a problem with Oliver. Yeah, that would suck. I love John. John and I are married, by the way. Also Oliver. Now to combat this trend, a lot of armies were spamming the hashtag with photos of Jungkook's blonde hair, saying things like this. Who said I wanted to see black pink? I'm busy focusing on blonde Jungkook. There is so much going on with BTS. Jungkook's hair. Also, RM apparently built some snow ducks. They apparently all got melted. RM also talked about how his child has mastered Hangu. I think that's Korean. And mastered it at age four. 
It's been one heck of a morning here in the army fandom. I promise I'm okay. I'm not okay. I love our boys and any child or anything that they love, I love. For example, Tang and his little fur baby child, Yon Tan. This is his Pomeranian dog, I believe. Yon Tan, if you did not know, is someone that Tang holds very, very close to his soul. He's probably the most famous pet that Tang has. Mind you, Tang has many pets. I believe he has another dog and a cat. Now these are based on the photos he has online. These pets could very easily be a family member or friends, and he just takes a lot of photos with them. We don't know. But Yontan is definitely one of the ARMY's favorite pets. And also, I believe, BTS's favorite pet. RM has very publicly come out and said that Yontan is one of the most beautiful dogs he's ever seen. And I agree. He is the most cutest. He is also the most well-behaved most of the time. There is definitely times where Tan will do little things to annoy Yontan. And Yontan will just freak out and bark back or something. I'm just over here like, do you know who you barking at? You can't bark at your king like that. Although Tan, the king, can bark at me anytime. But Tan does like to believe that Yontan is very well-behaved. And I'm sure he is sometimes. But a lot of times when he is on camera. We see the dramatic side of Yul Tan. And it's very cute. In fact, most people with dogs that I've noticed, their dogs are always so well behaved until like the cameras are on them or until they're in public. It's hilarious. People are always like, no, I swear they're good. Now, KBS not too long ago had a show with Tang in it. This one had a spotlight of Tang and his pet. Tang spoke so lovingly about Yul Tan. And in this one clip, Tang mentions how Yul Tan is so nice and quiet and does not bark very much. And it's like Yul Tan knew. Because literally right after Tang said that, Yul Tan started barking. Then Tang looks at Yul Tan and starts smiling and then says, never mind, I'll retract my statement. Yotan really made Tae a lie on national TV. He made Tae seem like a liar. That is not cool. Apparently right after a lot of armies were Googling like how to be Yotan. That is so funny. But honestly, I didn't know y'alls were actually doing that. Like if I knew I'd join. I thought this was something we'd say we were doing, but we didn't actually do. Like now I'm really curious if there's actually articles out there telling me step by step on how to be a dog. That is my 2021 New Year's resolution. I wanted to see what other people were saying about this on the tweetster. One person wrote, Tanny is more popular than some groups. That is so true. That dog has some cuteness. It transcends everyone. Anyone who looks at Yotan is going to remember him. And I absolutely love that. The fact that that dog can just take a photo and then get more clout than some groups, it's absolutely amazing. That dog probably has more influence than the president of certain countries. No shade to America. I don't want to die. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and kind of check stuff out. I post a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This includes copyrighted content that'll get taken down or anything like that. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Link is in the top of the description and down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel and all that. I have a video over there talking about that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two new videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.